Rastafari, blessed love and greetings family. Yeah, I thought it was time we did another little reasoning on this book. Yeah, we have to get the line of Judah back up there actually, forward up there again. Um, so right now we're on the wise mind of his Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie I of Ethiopia. A crucial book, you know I mean? Check out the previous video we were reasoning on why this publication is so important for all ones and ones, you know I mean? Containing enlightenment and education and all kinds of things for the whole humanity, you know what I mean? And very importantly here in Ethiopia, I advise ones and ones to look for this book and find this book because you know, any of the books published by His Majesty because we know half the story has never been told and we know that much of the information has been purposely hidden. Yeah, so right now, we're just going to reason upon chapter 6, advice to students. Yeah, we're just going through some of the selected um, quotes from the wise mind. These are some quotes taken from various speeches and writings and teachings of His Majesty. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, we're just sharing the vibes, holding a reasoning, you know what I mean? Drop a, drop a comment in the comments and all those things. So, if we look here, advice to students, obviously we know that education is what His Majesty stood for before anything else, you know what I mean? Um, was a great promoter of education, Haile Selassie University, yeah? There's obviously a big chapter in here on education, we're going to come to that in the next reasoning. Right now, let's have a look. I wanted to read this quote. It is more the inward eye than the possession of eyesight which is necessary for the acquisition of education. Yeah, it is more the inward eye than the possession of eyesight which is necessary for the acquisition of education. So it is all about the intuition. It is all about what is within. It's about the third eye. It's about the most eye within. You know what I mean? So we have a no eye in ourselves as individuals, as humanity, as whoever you want to claim to be, whatever labels you want to claim, you have to know yourself, we have to know ourselves, and we have to listen to that intuition, because if, we don't, if we're not in tune with that intuition, whatever education we think we're picking up, you know, it may, it may come to have no purpose in the end, you know what I mean? Like I said, we're just sharing some quotes, ones are encouraged to go and check out the book, study, read it, you know what I mean? Check it out for yourself, make your own Decisions, you know what I mean? Check this. Another quote from his Imperial Majesty right here. A man who says I have learned enough and will learn no further should be considered as knowing nothing at all. So his Majesty is telling us right there that education never stops throughout our whole lives. We can never stop learning. You're never too old to learn something new. And if somebody says we know there's a lot of people that are we call them Mr. Know It All and Mrs. Know It All, you know what I mean? Them them claim to know everything. You can't tell them nothing. Or they will get argumentative. People who claim that they have learned enough and shall learn no further should be considered as knowing nothing at all. Yeah, because they're not in tune with with the inward I. Within I and I. The most I within I. Rastafari. We give thanks, yeah? Let's have a look. Knowledge is power. If it is not applied properly to create, let there be no doubts it will destroy. So it comes again with the inward and intuition and following the guidance of the most day. You know what I mean? And channeling the energies, the creation energies into creation for good means. You know what I mean? There's another quote somewhere in the book where His Majesty talks about the great scientific and technological achievements of humanity to date. And His Majesty says that if these achievements are not put to good use for the betterment of humanity, then they are pointless. You know what I mean? So His Majesty is saying here, knowledge is power. But if it is not applied properly to create, it will destroy, let there be no doubts yet. His Majesty says right here, study and examine all, but choose and follow the good. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we have to know, we have to know the battle firstly, you know what I mean? We have to study all to see, to, to know, you know what I mean, the directions that everyone is taking on this thing. But not everything we study, not everything we read, not everything we research or experience or find out or get told will be the correct factual information. So we have to seek our information from many sources, especially when researching somebody like his Imperial Majesty where there is enough propaganda and different things that people want to say and would have you believe. You know what I mean? We need to make sure we're checking our facts from proper sources, from crucial sources. You know what I mean? We have to separate the sense from the nonsense. So in this time, study and examine all, but choose and follow the good. His Majesty has another quote where he talks about the balance between secular and spiritual knowledge, you know what I mean? And remember, it's all about the balance. His Majesty has another quote 
where he speaks about the balance between the material and the spiritual welfare of oneself you know what i mean the knowledge you have acquired so far is no end in itself but a reminder for the further responsibilities that await you yeah rastafari in your future work be ever mindful to prove yourselves worthy of trust let all that you do contribute to the ultimate benefit of your motherland and your fellow men let your work always be such that you can take pride in it and if you do so your country will have reason to be proud of you rastafari the words of his imperial majesty so like i say in this book you know what i mean we have advice like um yeah his majesty the emperor of ethiopia so he's talking here for ethiopia but we know his majesty the father of africa he's talking for africa we know his majesty is the most traveled man having visited almost every country in the world and we know his majesty in this book is talking to all of humanity and like i said in the previous video if the leaders of the world were to study this book before becoming elected and appointed and all these things the world might be a better place if they had to stick by the instructions and advice given in this book you know what i mean and it's a simple book you can fit it in your pocket you know what i mean big up front nine books every time so let's have a look a couple more quotes from chapter six advice to students let's have a look let's have a look we've talked about the inward a a man who is proud in spirit will always have confidence in himself and his conscience will not reprimand him yeah hear this one now if you are open-minded and ready to learn there are many things which you can learn not only from books and instructors but from the very life experience itself there are definitely many things which you can learn from the people if you are guided by this principle you will be surprised how pleasant life can be. Yeah? Translate into the vernacular of the plow, the spade and the hoe, the lessons you have learned from your specialized training. If you cannot do this, your education would have been futile and the labor would have gone to fashion a ship without a rudder. Yeah? Avoid having a bad reputation. Be eager and energetic in your studies. Be loyal to your country, obedient to your teachers. Eschew lies and follow truth. Respect good and be heirs of good work. Some of the teachings of his Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie I, quoted from The Wise Mind, yeah, a crucial book, pocket book, check it out. Rastafari, reading from chapter six, advice to students, sealing up right now. Um, let's have a look. Education is not an end in itself, but an aid to assist you to distinguish between good and evil, between the harmful and the useful, yeah. Education intensifies natural gifts and ability, but mere education unless founded on a historical and cultural framework will bear no fruits. Choose the means by which you can best exercise self-control and self-discipline. In this you are now possessed with the most important weapon of training. And we're going to seal up on that quote right there. Yep. Hear this now. Choose the means by which you can best exercise self-control and self-discipline. In this, you are now possessed with the most important weapon of training. Yeah? Like Brother Vaughan Benjamin Akebeka said, information, the most dangerous, the most deadliest weapon is information. Yeah? Like His Majesty says in here, knowledge is power, but if not applied, if not applied properly to create, have no doubt it will destroy. So family, we give thanks and praise. Go and check out the book. You can find it online. Um... We have to find some ways to make these books really readily available in Ethiopia and in places where, you know what I mean, we can't get hold of them so easily. But if you have access to Amazon and those things, you can find it. The Wise Mind of His Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie. First, we got Frontline Books, Chicago, USA. Yeah, so there's reasoning with seasoning. You know what I mean, the teachings of His Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie. I will come for shook the whole of Babylon and teach the whole world. You know what I mean? So we give thanks and praises. Drop a comment in the comments, like, subscribe, share, and all those things there. Forward again, maybe next time we'll check out the chapter on education, because education is key. Knowledge is power. Know thyself. Rastafari. Bless.